Welcome back to the Dennis Felton Show. Coach, uh, as we get into these tech highlights, one of the things that I think, I, as a coach, I, a couple of things that I think you've got to be proud of. One, Billy Humphrey, playing hurt. I mean, let's face it, he, he's playing, scores 23 points for you, shows leadership on the floor. I mean, that had to make you feel good. And the second thing, the character of the team, when Tech made a run, and you knew they would, they're yeah. a talented basketball team, sure. your team would withstand the run and then pull away. Yeah. Well, uh, first of all, regarding Billy, it, it may have been his best all-around performance in a Georgia uniform. Um, first of all, you know, he is hurting, and he's, he's playing. Uh, he's hobbled by a lot of pain in his left knee, but he's, he's toughing it out, and he, he scored very well, but it wasn't just threes. Uh, you know, he, had, he was 9 for 12 from the field. So that's extremely efficient, especially for a guard. And I think only two of his field goals were threes. So uh, what that tells you is, I mean, in, 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 you know, when you watch the game, you saw it. He made some tough, tough shots, some tough two-point shots off the dribble in traffic through tough defense. And, uh, and the other thing that he did really well is he defended uh, well all game long. Uh, anytime he was in the game, he was either chasing Clinch or Morrow. They're two top scorers and, and terrific shooters and scorers. And, and I really can't remember uh, one time where uh, those guys got a good look because of a, 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 a breakdown in Billy's concentration or his, his discipline uh, with how he's supposed to guard and that sort of thing. So that speaks to the progress he's made defensively. And he got some really, he had four defensive rebounds. and. And it seemed like all of them were tough, hard-earned, and really crucial rebounds, especially down the stretch. Um, so, and then you talk about the toughness we showed. Uh, it was a hard-fought game right from the beginning. We had to fight through adversity right from the beginning because we got in such quick foul trouble in terms of Georgia Tech being in the bonus and in terms of our, us having several players with two or more fouls. So uh, in, in Georgia Tech, I thought they were, I thought they competed really, really hard. And so uh, I was really proud of the resolve that our team showed. And it's something that we've been talking about more than anything else since the Presbyterian game. Because we've had some games this year where we haven't, where we've allowed ourselves to lose our aggression and get, and, and get rocked back on our heels and kind of stay there. For, for long stretches of time. The games that stand out to me are Wisconsin, second half, when we enjoyed the same kind of lead that we did against Georgia Tech, but, you know, and we withstood a lot of Wisconsin runs, but then once they pushed and got like a one, two point lead, we kind of, we kind of fell apart. Mm -hmm. And then the East Tennessee State game, we were that way most of the game, where we just weren't nearly as aggressive against a team that was coming at us really hard. And then Presbyterian, that was, we, we started talking about it in earnest after that game because we were on to a 40-point win that game. And then they made a couple plays, made a couple threes, strung together a couple threes. <clears throat> and again, we lost our aggression and aided their effort and ended up winning the game easily, but nothing like we, we could have and should have. So we talked about it a lot going into the Gonzaga game. We showed terrific resolve in the Gonzaga game, even though we came up short. And what I mean by that is, even though uh, we played through a lot of adversity all game, we never got rocked back in our heels. We stayed moving forward. We stayed in an attack mode. And I think that bode well going into the Georgia Tech game. And we did it again, and we did it well enough to pull it out and win. And, and like I said, Georgia Tech made run after run, push after push the entire second half. And, uh, and finally got it to, I think, one. And, uh, and but we just we kept responding and, and uh, we, we at both ends we made plays on offense we shot the ball well uh, offensively all night long 50 percent from the field 47 percent from three and we continued to be pretty tenacious on defense to get enough stops and rebounds to, to win it all right let's check out the dogs big win over the yellow jacket Here's a steal by Woodbury, picks up the dribble, he's going to dunk it on, no, he'll lay it up and in on the other end of the floor. There's the first points of the game. Brewer going to shoot it, he launches from three, no good, back iron, and the rebound goes to Jackson, to Brewer, cutting through the paint, the runner off the window, good! Dogs take it away, feed to Swansea at half court, diagonally to the right wing, 
Spins around, goes to Brewer. He'll launch one from way down down. Holy smokes, he hit it. He gets it back to Sundiata. He picks up the dribble on the wing, needs help. Pivots, throws it to Humphrey, under the basket, head fake, layup, good. Dogs take it away, Gaines, Woodbury forced Tech to mess it up, Gaines the recipient, and is that Humphrey or Jackson? Billy Humphrey, Humphrey. stopping on a dime. 19-18, Georgia with the lead, scoop it into the post to Jackson, they'll give it another shot. Albert with a left-hand dribble, throws it back out to Humphrey for the three, there you go. That's good karma. <laughs> That'll That's work. That's a blessing in disguise. Anthony Morrow. 6'5", senior from Charlotte, North Carolina at the free throw line. 91%, and he missed it. He rattled it out. Oh, my goodness. Dogs with the rebound. Gaines to feed to Bliss on the lay in good. Sunday Otto with great penetration. Butler with the ball. Works on the right wing. Now runs right baseline. Wide open. They left it open. He scored and got fouled. He just took it right to the rack. Here's Miller with the ball. The dribble drive. The running layup won't go. The rebound is loose on the floor. It's picked up by Brewer. Dogs take it from left to right. Bounce it out on the wing to Butler. Butler edge of the paint. Back to Sundiata. Open look for three. Good. Sundiata gains right of the circle. Only four on the shot clock. Here's Humphrey. Three on the clock. Forces up a one-hander. He banked it in with the kiss. Billy Humphrey now with 10 points. Top of the key. Here's Woodbury. 58 seconds to go. Woodbury down the left side. He drives around the defense. He snuck in from underneath. Dogs from right to left. Leading it 36 to 28 now. Gaines, left side of the lane, under the basket. Reverse layup, good. 38-31, seven-point Georgia lead. Gaines attacks, splits the defense, drives and lays it up. Uh oh look out, Sunday out of tumbles. Tech on a 10-2 run right now. The lead is only one for Georgia. Humphrey open for the three. He'll shoot and score from the right side. Two-point lead for Georgia. Gaines throws it into Humphrey, fakes the three, pulls in for the two, and the kiss off the window, good. Two-point lead for the Dogs. Here's Humphrey across the lane, and jump shot good from about 12 feet. He's got 19 to lead everybody. And we're 51-51, halfway through half number two. Tied for the first time since 10-10 uh, with 11.58 in the first half. Dogs with the ball, gains in trouble, under the basket, kicks it out to Butler. Three-pointer, Corey Butler, left to the circle. Lead is two for Georgia, 58-56. Gains to the rack and he scores. Just give it to Sunday to let him go in hard. 60 to 58, dogs by two. 5.45 to go in the game. Gains with the ball in his hands, will shoot the three, good! Top of the key, Bliss looks for help, dribbles it once, steps to the right side, gives it to Humphrey. Humphrey moves around Bliss, who was moving, he'll shoot the three, no, a two! And controlled by Tech, the pass up the floor, stolen by Woodbury! He turns, he runs back the other way, gets it to Jackson. Jackson in the paint, jump hook with her left hand, won't go. Price with the rebound, he's fouled, and the bucket for Jeremy Price. Jeremy Price with those vice grips. Bliss, head of the key to Woodbury on the baseline, sends it across into the corner, three by Butler, it's good! Corey Butler with a three from the right corner, right in front of the dog's bench, 73-66 Georgia. We inbound it to Humphrey, he avoids the defender, and will run out the clock, and there it is. The clock hits zero, the backboard light comes on, and your final score from Stegman Coliseum, Georgia 79 and Georgia Tech 72.